it is me and my tea again. And it is finally time for the July Owl Crate, which has just arrived. I am very excited. They were a little delayed, I believe, this month because of the book. I think that's what they said in their email, but I am very glad that it is finally here. And the theme is Break the Curse, and I am super excited to break the curse, which is the tape on this box, so that we can see the goodies inside. So, with trusty pocket knife, let's get into it. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Owl Crate, it is a really awesome monthly YA subscription box, and every month you get a brand new book signed by the author and a bunch of fun bookish goodies. And now they also have the option of doing a book only box. So if you're only interested in a book signed by the author and not the other knickknacks, um, you are now able to get that, which is really, really cool. Okay, so let us get into it. Ready? Do do do. Here we go. Ooh, and right on top, as River Song would say, we have our spoilers. So here we have our spoiler card, which I will set aside for now so as to not spoil anything. And oh goody, we have Le Pipper Wummies, which Le Pippi and the Rory will absolutely love chasing. Okay. So the first thing I see on top is our next treasured tome pin. So this is number 7 of 12 and is inspired by Spinning Silver, I believe. So you get to be the first to see it. Is it pretty? Is it beautiful? Ooh, okay, that is really gorgeous and it looks like a little bit bigger than the past ones. So let's see what's on the inside. It says, in the mirror I had become a queen in a dark forest made of ice. Ooh, that is really cool. Let's see if the camera will focus. Focus on the pin. There we go. So there is the inside of our lovely pin. So that is really, really pretty. And I'm still hoping for some kind of banner to put these pins on. Um, I've really been disappointed. I can't think of any good pin banner that would like complement these pins. So hopefully, if not in this box, maybe in the next couple boxes, they might have some kind of pin banner. Oh, and speaking of things to come, if you have been waiting on the um, Grishaverse trilogy, the Shadow and Bone box, I did hear through the, um, I think it was like the Owl Babble on Instagram that they are still working on the books and the next time we have um, info from them it will be for the date to pick up the box so I'm really excited for that. Um, check out on Instagram the the look of those books are absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to pick those up. Okay, so next item. Nice little box. Ooh, and so this says it is inspired by Violet Made of Thorns. That's one of our more recent um, book boxes. What is this? Ooh, okay, so we have a little baggie right here. It's very interesting says that it is a sun catcher. I hope it's in good condition. Ooh, this looks pretty. <gasps> Ooh, yay, this is gorgeous. Ooh. Okay, so we have a beautiful, like, little starburst sun. We have a gorgeous little moon. And then we have a beautiful prism worthy of any Instagram filter. And so this says, my curse, my rune. That is so pretty. Um, oh, I wish there was a way I could just hang it up right now. Because that would look really pretty right there. I can't wait to put this in the window. That is going to be gorgeous. I love a good sun catcher. Alrighty, up next. Ooh, we have a little box that at first, the, the, the shape of it almost reminds me of like people walking around with like jewels or vapes. I, that was just the first thing that came to mind. And I think these are pens. So these, oh, they're highlighters. 
inspired by The Wrath and Dawn, Six Crimson Cranes, and To Kill a Kingdom. So we have three. Ooh, so that must mean that we must have a book in here. Okay, so they're... Looks like they're kind of like a blue, a purple, and a peach light highlighter. And it says, one says, Find the light that makes your lantern shine. After all, every story has a story. And, oop, that one's upside down. Love and madness are two stars in the same sky. Ooh, that one's good. And it looks like they are two different sizes. So we have a little one right here. And I think this one's got to be the bigger, thicker one right there. So that is very nice. I like that they have, um, it's double-ended. And so here's how they look. Very nice. Oh, I definitely give these two thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, do, please make sure to, if you are watching this video, to give it a thumbs up. I'd really like to know how many, like, of you viewing my video right now um, are watching. And I feel like thumbs up usually tell me more about how many people are watched versus how many people like rewatch it or maybe watch only a little bit. So if you've made it this far, please give this a thumbs up so that I know like how many of you are watching my video longer. Okay, next. <gasps> oh, is this Howl's Moving Castle? That looks like Howl. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I think this is a reusable kind of like tote bag. Yes. Awesome. Okay, and it is inspired by Howl's Moving Castle. And the artwork on here is so beautiful. Oh. These are very, very handy. I use these like when I'm shopping at Lush or maybe um, going to the library. It's so pretty. I love the style. It's interesting to see um, things that are normally in one kind of art form. Um, reimagined in another. So this really beautiful kind of romantic style instead of like the Studio Ghibli, Ghibli, Studio Ghibli, Ghibli style. And also the um, pocket that it comes in, I usually tuck it in and make it like an interior pocket. So that's kind of a little handy tip. So that one is super cute. I love it. Actually, there's a, um, there's a feral wild tomcat that comes around and he doesn't meow. He goes, Howl! So um, we have nicknamed him Howl, and it's always fun to see him stop around. Next! Ooh! I think this is what kind of like the highlighters kind of go with. I think this is one of their, um, the next in their series of fake book notebooks. And this one is really neat, and it is inspired by The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, which is a very good book. I highly recommend. And it is How to Live Forever. And it um, draws inspiration from the cover of The Invisible Life of Adieu the Rue with the constellation. And on the back it says, What is a person if not the marks they leave behind? And it is very, very beautiful. And it's, um, it's like squishy. It almost feels like memory foam, which is really interesting and unique. Ooh. So it is lined and it has a cute little flower detail in the corner. And it has a little um, pen keeper to put pens, and it also has a sewn-in ribbon bookmark. Very nice. All right, it looks like next is our book, so I'm just going to get it out of the box because it's a little squished in, and we shall see the beautiful cover that it has. Okay, are we ready for this cover? I don't think you are because it is absolutely beautiful. It is Garden of the Cursed, and it is absolutely stunning. I love it. It has beautiful sprayed purple edges that actually kind of go with my new nails from the latest Hollow Taco Collection video, if you want to check out that. Um, but it says, secrets can't protect me, only the truth can. I love the look of this cover. It looks like an old-fashioned kind of like fairy tale, like think opening of Disney and the book kind of, you know, opens like that. Ooh! And we have end pages. So we have, here's one end page. Interesting. I bet these are our, um, our protagonists there. And do we have another? Ooh, yes. And we have another. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of end page artwork. I feel it, it's a little bit, um, juvenile, but the foiling on the 
hardback is really beautiful, nice and shimmery. There is our title, and then this is so pretty. It says, The Ballad of the Moon Thief. I fear if I am not careful, you'll steal my heart too. Okay, that is really pretty. And then here's our reversible da dust jacket that's it's beautiful artwork, but it still doesn't have the title somewhere on the reversible art. I feel like it would be a really fun thing for an artist to find some kind of creative way to slide um, the title of the book in this section of the artwork. Just food for thought. It's just sometimes when it's on the bookshelf and all you see is like something like that, it's not very interesting. Okay, so let's see what this book says. Sorry if I was being a little salty, but I've had enough owl crate boxes that I feel like I'm a I can judge my books now. I mean, I guess they are my books, so I guess I can judge them. Okay, so this book says, Since fleeing the gilded halls of Evergarden for the muck-filled canals of the marshes, Marlo Briggs has made a name for herself as the best curse breaker in Khazraya City. But no matter how many cases she solves, she is still haunted by the mystery of her mother's disappearance. And it also says that... Um, we enter a deadly society that isn't what it seems, and Marlo takes the risk and makes a deal with the boy who turned her away in order to get closer to her mother's disappearance. So that sounds like it's going to be very interesting, kind of like a like a missing persons kind of book, which will be very interesting, and I cannot wait to read. And it's just so pretty. Okay, so lastly we have our next month's theme, and our newsletter. So here we have the interview with the author. We have the Owl Crate edition and the original edition. And I love what Owl Crate did because frankly, I would not have picked up this book. This cover does not do anything for me. This one, mwah, Chef's Kiss 10 out of 10 would recommend. My aesthetic completely. Here we have news from the nest interview with a vendor the instagram photo challenge and the spotify playlists i really love listening to those as i'm reading the book and then we have some other books that came out this month and some of these look pretty good um let's see yeah these look really really good this one looks really cool the bonesmith one it kind of looks like I don't know, kind of like super cool heroin kind of vibes. Or almost like Lara Croft Tomb Raider, the old video game, not the new movies. Okay, so our theme for August is Through the Seasons. I love that artwork, it's so pretty. And I love the whole kind of aesthetic that it's giving. And it says every August box will have the next little... um wooden story doorway that matches this one and I think from I can't remember what the other um, right off the top of my head I can't remember what the other um, fandoms are that are gonna be in this box but I do remember Narnia so I think maybe the magical door for next month is going to be maybe the wardrobe from the Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe so that is going to be really cool if I actually guess that right but that is it. Well, everybody, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. What was your favorite item? Um, do you love the new cover that Owl Crate did for the Garden of the Cursed? Or do you prefer the original? Personally, I love the new one. So leave a comment down below which one that you like best. And if you're interested in supporting my channel, there is a link down below that you can join and they'll get to be um, member exclusive polls and some cute little videos and bloopers from behind the scenes. So make sure to join my channel. And if you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you are new, welcome to my channel and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!